the razor brand Gillette unveiled a new commercial this week. Very controversial because it essentially accuses all men of being inherently sexist. It paints masculinity the way the American Psychological Association defined traditional masculinity last week. Remember, we talked about that on the show as being inherently harmful and bad. Watch this Gillette ad. Bullying. The Me Too movement against Toxic sexual harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it. It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Once, but she says he's a And there will be no going back. Because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. So first of all, what they're talking about in this ad, the sexual harassment, the bullying, men viewing women as objects, that is not manliness. It's a lack of manliness. True manliness respects women, uplifts women, cherishes women, protects women, and yes, recognizes that men and women are different. Gillette is buying into the toxic nonsense spewed by radical leftist feminist man-haters who try to cut down men in order to put women on pedestals. Uh-uh, that's not what women want. That is not what our culture needs. The left paints women as victims. We are not victims just because we're women. The left paints men as monsters. Men are not monsters just because they're men. Here's the thing. If there is a crisis in the culture among men right now, it's because of leftist progressive views like the rhetoric pushed by Gillette in this ad that blames all men for the crimes of a few terrible men. This is what I mean. The political left, you encourage men to be less manly. You encourage men to view women as sexual objects without the respect women deserve. When you encourage a culture of meaningless sexual hookups without responsibility, without love, outside of marriage. On the political left, you encourage men to be less manly when you encourage young men to put off taking manly responsibilities, put off committing to one woman and providing for her and protecting her and leading her until young men have played the field and sowed their wild oats. On the political left, you encourage men to be less manly when you glorify pornography. Is there anything in this world outside of rape and assault that is more degrading and damaging to women? Is there anything that negatively impacts the way men's minds are wired to think about women than by viewing pornography, where women are objectified and reduced to objects? On the political left, you encourage men to be less manly when you mock Christianity, which teaches men that true manliness is obedience to a God that calls us to sacrifice ourselves for others, particularly for women and children. On the political left, you encourage men to be less manly when you dictate that males aren't allowed to have opinions on abortion unless men are celebrating abortion, instead of A, taking manly responsibility when they get a woman pregnant, and B, standing up, and defending and protecting the right to life of unborn babies. We don't need to change men and destroy masculinity itself. We need to embrace true man manliness and encourage men to be men, to be leaders, to be fathers, to be husbands, to be God-fearing members of a community who teaches their sons by example what it means to be real men instead of inundating young men with destructive messages that cheer when men get laid or score with women. What did you expect our culture to look like when you've spent the past 50 years teaching men to be less manly? That void you've created is now filled by a lack of manliness. That's the problem. Try spending 50 years encouraging men to be real men and see what happens. I think that might sol solve a lot of your cultural issues. And that 
is my final point. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.